Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunsort Reviews. We are here at the Cowtown USA range in Peoria, Arizona with my friend Freddie Blish. How you doing, Freddie? Hey, Jamil, good to see you again. And today we're gonna continue our series on misnomers and how people name things incorrectly. Yes. Um, that one, they call the Mozambique when you shoot two shots in the body, one in the head. Yes. Is that correct or? Yes. It, it... What people sometimes refer to as a failure drill or a failure to stop or a Mozambique, they're, they're kind of mixing a few of the, the attributes up. First, the Mozambique uh, is from around 1974. Mike Rousseau uh, was uh, serving as a mercenary in Mozambique and he was at the airport. Uh, he was being aggressed by one of the communist guerrillas. He had his brining high power. He was a, literally about oh, 10 paces away, about 10 yards. And, uh, the, you know, this uh, communist gorilla had an AK-47. Well, you know, Mike, with his Browning high power, shoots a real nice control pair right in this guy's chest. And normally, as what was being taught, hey, two rounds in the chest, enough to stop the fight. Well, they didn't. The guy was still running at him. So Mike was like, mm, I better, uh, you know, try for the head. And he did, and he made, he made a, a head shot, actually went a little bit low, hit him in, in the neck, severed the spinal column, took the guy right out. Well, when he got back from, you know, the, uh, go back to, you know, the United States, he, he, he talked to Jeff Cooper and he told him about what happened. Well, Jeff named it the Mozambique and it became part of the, the drills taught at gun site where, you know, uh, whether a control pair or a hammer pair to the chest, followed, you know, after assessing, did it do what I wanted to do? No, it didn't, now I make a headshot. Well, right about that same time, uh, 1977, thereabouts, uh, LAPD SWAT, uh, also known as LAPD Metro D Platoon, two of the first members, Larry Mudgett and John Helms, were taking a class at gun site, and they were really impressed by, you know, this Mozambique drill. Concerned with the origination of the drill and the term, uh, they said, well, we really can't call it a Mozambique, so we need to call it a failure to stop drill. Um, but the difference in it when they taught it was that they would just teach two to the chest and immediately go to the head with no assessment. And so that's how they, they got intertwined, uh, but they're really two separate drills. Okay, but um, which one do you prefer? I think it depends on the situation. If uh, I am, you know, uh, it, it, at a little bit of a distance and, I'm, and there are a lot of people behind, say, the threat that I'm engaging, um, then, hey, I need to be concerned about making my shots count and making sure that headshot counts. Uh, if I am uh, doing, you know, uh, close quarter battle and the r rules of engagement are a little looser, then, hey, I could probably do that failure to stop drill uh, would probably be better. It depends on, it just, it really depends on the situation, depends on what you're doing. If you know that your individual that you're going against is wearing body armor, well, two quick shots to the chest to kind of stun him a little bit, and then one, you know, quick to the face with no assessment might be the right answer. Okay, well, we here we have a steel target at 10 yards. Yes. So, can we try both and see how it works? Let's do both. Okay, um, awesome. I'll demonstrate both and then we'll let you do it. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's go ahead and do it, Freddie. All right. Just gonna check the condition of my pistol. Okay, so first one we're gonna do is the Mozambique. So I'm gonna do two shots to the chest, a quick assessment, and then one shot to the head. Okay. All right. So there was our, our Mozambique. All right, now this one would be our failure to stop. So that's two quick shots to the chest and then uh, that without the assessment to the head. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, let me try it. Okay, 
And I'm gonna try the failure. Failure. Drummer. I should have gone faster on the third A little third bit shot. faster for the head. Yep. Okay, Freddie, that was great instruction. Now I know the difference of the yes. Mozambique and the failure drill. Both easy to practice. Yes. Not difficult. Um, we're using a steel target. You can also use a standard USPSA or IDPA target. Absolutely. Or just some of the paper targets that you can buy at your local range. That's correct. It's a great deal, deal, drill that you should practice. It's something that is a good training, good Absolute, training tool. Absolutely, and, and on that transition from the chest or center of mass shots to the face or the headshot, you know, that headshot is critical. And I always tell students, think of it as that individual has a body bomb, their thumb is on the switch, and unless you get a good round in that ocular cavity, that little four inch circle right there, He's gonna press that button and blow everybody up. And so, you know, don't just waste those rounds on the head. Make sure they're good, accurate hits. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for me and Freddie. We're gonna to continue to do some videos to teach you some of these training skills and techniques that are being taught at great training schools like Gunsight Academy, right, Freddie? Correct. Well, awesome, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.